Hi, my name is Tetsuya Nakamura at the University of Osaka. I am a member of the Developmental Genetics Group that is led by Professor Hiroshi Hamada. Internal of our organs plays an important role of its functions and positions. In the mouth, there is a node that play important roles to organize developmental process and there are water flow in the node that is produced by multiple serial rotation. The water flows from the left to the right side in the node and the leftward flow generates asymmetric expressions of some genes around the node directly or indirectly. One important factor that shows asymmetric expression around the node is nodal. Nodal is a member of TGF beta superfamily and an expression level of nodal messenger RNA is higher in the left than right. Nodal protein could travel from the node to the lateral plate mesoderm and transfer the asymmetric information of the node to the lateral plate mesoderm. Following the breaking symmetry in the organizer, asymmetric gene expressions are raised only at the left side. In the mouse, nodal, left T2, and PITX2 are expressed only in the left lateral plate mesoderm. Nodal has the ability to induce its own messenger RNA expression via activin receptor, and it works as a positive feedback of nodal signal. But it induces left T2 expression simultaneously, that is, an inhibitor of nodal signaling. Left T are members of TGF beta superfamily, and left T2 play a role to localize expression domain of nodal only in the left lateral plate of mesoderm. Left T1 works as a midline barrier at the prospective flower plate in the mouse embryo. But one of the unresolved problems of left and right determination is why nodal is expressed only in the left lateral plate mesoderm. Nodal is expressed at the both sides of the node and the signal from the node reaches the both lateral plate mesoderm. Why is nodal expressed so robustly only in the left side? Nodal and lefty are members of TGF beta superfamily and they are secreted factors. So, nodal and lefty are potential factors that constitute reaction diffusion system that can make self-organized patterns. In the developmental biology, it is indicated that the action diffusion system is used to make patterns of fish skins, other animal coat patterns, but real molecules work as activator and inhibitor were unknown. Considering these situations, we had started to prove the existence of reaction diffusion system in the left and right pattern. If there is a reaction diffusion system, there would be a lateral inhibition by lefty. At first, we introduced expression vectors of nodal into the right LPM by reflection method. In contrast to control embryos, endogenous expression of nodal was disappeared in the embryos that is transfected. This result indicated that there is a lateral inhibition to make one-sided pattern. So, we performed the same experiments with left T1 homozygote embryos. The result was as expected, endogenous nodal was not disappeared in the embryo that was transfected. From this result, we concluded that there is a lateral inhibition by left T to make one-sided pattern. To understand the precise mechanism of reaction diffusion system, we made a mathematical model. In this model, we simplified embryo conditions as following. There are three sites that are potential for nodal and lefty reaction, for example, left and right LPM and midline. Left T1 and left T2 are viewed as same left T. Among the three sites, Nodal and lefty can diffuse freely, but diffusion velocity of lefty is faster than nodal. Using partial differential equations, we performed computer simulations of nodal and lefty. As you can confirm, this simulation reproduces endogenous expression patterns of nodal and lefty. 
In addition, this mathematical model can explain other 20 phenotypes of mutants. At the last, in other species, for example, zebrafish, xenopus, and tsi, symmetry breaking in the organizer and left-side expression of TGF-beta superfamily are conserved.